automatically fulfill. If humanity passing through difficult period, you cannot escape from that. So actually, more sense of concern of others' well-being. The benefit, maximum benefit, goes to yourself. Sometimes it's a compassionate, friendly attitude not necessarily bring happiness on other person. One time in Germany, I passing through because of the street. You know, as I my sort of usual sort of habit, whenever I saw some people, I always smile. No need to introduce. So long, this is a human being. I smile. Of course, if I smile, birds, then I think my mind is a little bit sort of wrong. <laughs> a human being, of course. You see, most kids, when I look at them more with smile, they also respond. One occasion, when I passing through, one young lady going there, I smile. The lady seems, I think, got some suspicion. This stranger person in that car, smiling at her, perhaps she felt, oh, something, uh, something sort of has a bad intention. She looks very negative way. <laughs> so my sort of uh, friendly or compassionate sort of expression brought some suspicion on her mind. So therefore, uh, sometimes compassion practice not necessarily brings some benefit to other. But you yourself, once you show them genuine sort of friendship on the basis of oneness of human being, you feel happy. So here I would like to, say, to mention, sometimes you see, people feel practice of compassion. These are something benefit to other people, not, not necessarily yourself. This is totally wrong. Look, one occasion, I think near New York, some, I think, university. You see, we uh, discuss with some scientists about medical, uh, about health. One medical scientist um, mentioned, according to his sort of finding, hmm, those people who often come their mouth, the word I, 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 me, mine, like that. So such people have greater risk of heart attack. He didn't explain. Then I thought, oh, it is true. Those people, as they provided, be honest. Otherwise, you see, they're very self-centered here. But saying, oh, compassion, compassion, then something different. <laughs> but I think such honest people uh, express what they really feel. So those people who often, you see, use these, these words, I, 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 in, in the inside, strong self-centered attitude. So, so extreme selfish, uh, sometimes I call blind selfish. You see, that kind of selfish actually close our inner door. Then, very it find it very difficult to reach out with other people. Result, you feel isolated, you feel lonely, and more anxiety. With that, more suspicion, more distrust. So that's the causing of heart attack. I feel like that. 
more compassionate attitude, open our inner door, then reach easily with other people. Clear. Uh, so therefore, the practice of compassion is really immense beneficial to oneself. Now, medical sort of science, medical scientist also now saying, anger, hatred, fear, really eating our immune system. So fear, anger, uh, hatred, very much related with self-centered attitude, as I already mentioned. Too much self-centered attitude. Then think only oneself, not think the other. So result, eventually, suspicion, distrust happen. So that really destroy inner peace, inner strength. So compassion, sense of concern of others' well-being, uh, really develop inner self-confidence, inner strength. With that, you can carry your life transparently, talk frankly, truthfully, honestly. Uh, that actually creates very positive, I said, the warm atmosphere. Clear. Okay. So, then, so therefore, it is wrong to think the practice of compassion, forgiveness, these are part of religious practice. So, those people who have not much interest about religion, they also neglect about these values. That's totally wrong. Whether you accept religion or not, it's entirely up to you. But these values are basically human value and biological factor. So religion only, you see, nurtured these values. But this value itself from birth, biological factor. So, so long, those, and so long we come from our mother, received immense sort of affection from our mother at the sort of, uh, 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 early age. So that experience, experience from mother's affection, that experience really absorbed in our blood. So those people, who received maximum affection from our mother in early age, the rest of their life, in deep insight, much happier. Those individuals, no matter how successful, but at young age, lacking affection from our mother, or from other our sort of friends. And then, sense of insecurity and fear, distrust become part of your life. So whole life, deep inside, much anxiety. So even small incident happen, it easily burst. Inside, more sort of a day, ah, secure. secure from early, early experience experience from early life. And even if you see, serious disturbances come, uh, may not disturb your mind. So therefore, whether believer or non-believer, we must pay more attention about this inner value in order to achieve a happy life, happy society, ultimately happy world. Uh, this is one thing. <laughs>